Hello, SVG On Demand family. It's your favorite cousin, Sharika, coming to you for another quick tutorial. And today, we will be going over knee-high silky socks. My method. <laughs> All right, guys. So, this is what we're going to make. Starting from this, this is what you get when you order it. Any high, they already come in this plastic package. So make sure you take your package and put it to the side so that you can use it to put your socks back in once you are complete to be able to have that professional nice look to it. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna move these to the side for us. And as you can see, I've already taken them out the pack. Took a couple out and pre-did them for us. I saved one lucky for one for us. This isn't the actual jig that you get at Silky Socks. This is just some cardboard that I have cut that fits nightly, nicely inside this size large Silky Sock. Okay, family. So now, because I want this design to be front and back, I'm going to take the top from its folded position and fold it this away. So now we have a front and back view of the sock. Okay. All right. So now we have it folded for the front and back view. So I'm going to take my jig slash piece of cardboard and slide it straight into my sock. This is working it up, stretching it out some so that the ink gets in the middle. Once I get to the tip, Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just pull it on up my jig or my piece of cardboard, whatever I'm using. Okay, I'm gonna straighten it out. Right, I want the front view, so I'm making sure this seam is nice and straight in the middle. If you flip it over, you see that your heel of the sock is in the middle of the sock. If it's curved to the side, you want to get that nice and straight, your lines nice and straight. Okay, once we have that there. We're gonna grab our handy dandy lint roller and we're gonna rolly, rolly, rolly. Front and back. And guys, my design came from svgondemand.com. We have a huge bundle of over 17 of these different colors for this design that you can go in and add your own logo to it okay i do mine a little bit different than some other people do their socks and so these templates are based on the way i do my fold method i don't have to do the roll method because i fold it into the sock so instead of me laying two socks here and pressing i'm only going to use this paper for one sock front and back okay and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna use my basting spray. I'll link that all in the comments, in the description. Um, and I'm gonna baste, spray my, mist my paper. Okay, bring it back here. So I want the Montville Indians to be on the front of the sock. So I'm gonna take it this way. I'm gonna line this top up right where I need the Montville to be in the middle. Here, okay. And if you see at the bottom, we got a little overage. That's okay. It's covering everything. Then I'm gonna take this, and this is my little trick. So when you use this template, watch this white line when you're folding it into it. So now I'm gonna fold into it, and I'm gonna line that white line up, because you can see through the paper, and I'm gonna line it up with that other white line. And now I know everything is lined up perfectly, okay? I'm gonna sit that one to the side and we're gonna do it one more time for you family, just in case you missed that out. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. 
If you haven't heard about our SVGU Masterclass subscription group where we have weekly class tutorials, please check it out. Come learn, craft, and inspire with your favorite Facebook cousin, Sharika. All right, I'm just, see, I'm just straightening that sock up. Felt like it was a little crooked. I got my cardboard in there, okay? I already sprayed. I'm gonna line that Montville up again for the milk. Okay. Go. Nice and flat. Now I'm gonna take it and fold it. I'm lining that white line up with that white line right there. And I can see it through here. See that? Make sure it's overlapping it. Yeah. I'm just folding it into it. I'm sealing it because I sprayed my paper, so I'm not using any tape or anything. Voila. Okay, let's move on over to the heat press. All right, family, we're here at the heat press. I have some 17, 11 by 17 copy paper um, from Walmart that I'm just laying down. Because you have to use so much, I'm not going to use my butcher paper for these. I'm going to lay them straight under the press. Okay. Another one. Lay it under. Here. I'm going to take two more sheets. One on top. One on top of the other side. Press. All right, here we go. 35 seconds. I'm gonna pop it up. We're gonna take this paper here that has all this ink already on it, and this page here, and toss it to the side. We are not gonna use that piece of paper anymore. We're gonna take our design, flip it over. Take the other design, the other side, flip it over, take two neat new pieces of paper and cover again. We're gonna press it again for another 35 seconds. Now 35 seconds is up on the second side. We're gonna pop it up. Paper is no longer good. Let's move it on over so you can check it out nice and close with me. All right, here we go. Nice and hot. Straight off the press. You are looking at this with me as we unfold. Look how pretty. Slide our jig right on out. Enjoy the video. I'm going to show you real quick how I go ahead and package them back into the package. I'm going to fold my heel here. Back side. Reach. Get it nice and straight. Puff my heel in. Just like that. I'm going to lay them on top of each other. Just like this. Fold it in half. Take the plastic bag that it came out of that has the sticky stuff. Okay. I'm on camera. <laughs> we getting there. We getting there. 
I'm having a hard time. Ain't none of them did this so hard. There we go. And then, I'm going to take this, fold it down nice and close to your fold. Close it up. Reseals it. Flip it over. Montville Indians, size large. All right, family. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you like more like videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out our SBGU Masterclass subscription group. And if you think you like bundles of pins and things like this to use for your sublimation, please check out our pins subscription also. Talk to you later. Have a wonderful day.